Hi everyone. This is a new video I'm uploading. Um, I just wanted to give a quick intro to this video because I wanted to let you guys know now that during this video, my energy was at an all-time low. Um, I had just lost my best friend. So I was crying in like all the clips that I recorded. But while trying to deal with losing my best friend, I had also booked this trip to go to Antigua. So right now, certain countries require you to take a COVID test five days prior to your trip in order to enter the country so i really need to make to make it happen so this is pretty much since i've since covid started i haven't taken any any covid test um i had no reason to i'm not working at the moment i haven't been leaving the house so this was my first time having to go take a test so this was just my experience i did end up having to pay out of pocket to get it done but just an update i um have spoken to my insurance company since i paid and they're supposed to be reimbursing me my 120 dollars, but i haven't received my 120 dollars yet so as of right now, I did have to pay to get it done, which is crazy, like, anyways, but I was able to go on the trip. I'm going to be uploading a video soon of my experience during the trip. Those are freaking blast. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up as to why I did keep stating that I was crying in the whole video and why I just sounded like I was really down. I've never lost somebody close to me like this, so my eyes were puffy and stuff but yeah i'm doing a lot better now it's a new year i'm trying to run five miles a day we'll see how that works so i decided to update you guys during my run this morning run <laughs> what other time than to make a youtube video then to when you're supposed to be running right another distraction but yeah, I hope you guys love this. If you guys did take a COVID test, let me know how your experience was because that was my first time taking it. I do love to travel, so I guess if I'm gonna be taking more trips, I have to be. I'm gonna have to take more, more COVID tests. But I am aware some countries are not requiring you to take a COVID test. Like when I flew to Mexico, I didn't need one, but for Antigua, we did need one. Um, but yeah, comment the video. I am new to YouTube, so please subscribe. I need all the subscribers I can get. Um, love you guys so much. Hope you guys have a great day. Like, there has to be a place that... takes people, like, right now. Let me call this place. Thank you for calling AFC Urgent Care and for the life-threatening medical emergency. Please hang up and call 911. Please press 1 for more information regarding COVID assessments, appointments, and testing. Press 2 for information about COVID test results. For all other inquiries, press 3 to speak with our office staff. To repeat this message, press 8. Thank you. Goodbye. Great, they hung up. Now what? Call this place. Thank you for calling via urgent care. Life threatening emergency. Please hang up and dial 911. This call may be recorded for training purposes. Press 5 for information about coronavirus, also known as COVID 19. COVID 19. If you have COVID 19 concerns, please visit our website at www.vibe.care to begin a telemedicine visit. For in person visits, we're keeping you safe with pre entry screening and by taking you directly to an exam room to limit community exposure. For more information about staying safe during the COVID 19 outbreak, please visit our website www.vibe.care. 
If you still have questions, press three to speak with our front desk. Three. We are currently busy assisting other patients. We will be with you shortly. Press 1 to remain on the line, or press 3 to leave a message in our general mailbox. What's she say? Bye, Burton Care Ridley. We are open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. If this is a medical emergency, please hang up and dial 911. This call may be recorded for training purposes. Record your message at the tone. Press any key or stop talking to any... I want to go take a test. Can you guys just answer the phone? Okay, this place has five stars. Thank you for calling Minute Clinic. On average, test results are typically available in three to four days, but may take longer due to the current surge in COVID-19 cases and increased testing during this holiday season. When your test result is ready, you will receive an email with a link to your MyChart account where you will be able to view your test result. Please note, if you are unable to see availability on our website for COVID-19 appointments, this does mean we are booked and please try a later time. You're also welcome to contact your local health department for recommendations on where to get tested. We are experiencing significant call volume and wait times. We Why is that? Is everyone just out trying to take COVID tests today? Thank you for calling Minute Clinic. If this is a medical emergency or you are seeking immediate medical assistance, please hang up and dial 911 or go to the nearest emergency room. Get your flu shot today at Minute Clinic. If you are calling to receive COVID test results for a minor, please know that minors do not receive my chart accounts through CBS. Please continue for automated test results, or the results will be delivered by text message to the number provided at the time of appointment registration. Why are you being so mad? For English, please hold. Para Espanol, marque ocho. For all other languages, press 9. Is your call regarding COVID-19 test results? You can say yes, or press 1, no, or press 2. Few words, please tell me what you're calling about. Words, please tell me what you're calling about. Representative. Okay, a representative. Minute Clinic representatives are specialized in different areas. Please select the type of representative you need. You can say billing, insurance, lab results, medical records, follow-up, or for any other issues, just say other. Other representative. Please. You'd like to speak with someone about something else, right? Yes. Your call is being transferred. Thank you. Thank you for calling Minute Clinic. Your call may be monitored or recorded for training and quality assurance. Please hold for the next available representative. I'm gonna drive to this CVS by my house. Maybe they do it there. I don't know. It says you need an appointment though. But when I go to make an appointment and I fill out the sheet, since I haven't experienced any symptoms, it says that I don't qualify to make an appointment. Please continue to hold for the next available representative. Should I lie and say that I do have a symptom? So confused. Are you pregnant? No. Do you work in healthcare? No. Do you work in a setting where the risk of COVID may be high? No. Have you been prioritized for testing? I'm prioritizing myself, so I'll put yes. In the past 14 days, have you subsected exposure? We apologize for the delay. All representatives are currently assisting other customers. Please continue to hold for assistance. Thank you. Is this your first time taking COVID test? Yes. Okay, let's see what it says. Select available date today. Rapid testing. Okay, they found the place. Okay, this is better. See available times. That place, there's no available times. No available times. Another location, no available times. No available times. Nowhere has available times. 
test location currently closed. Please hold for the next available representative. Available times. Now we're in a whole nother state and you still don't have any available times. Okay, let's check for tomorrow then, since you guys are tripping. Even for tomorrow, everything's... A fucking headache. Everywhere's... Ev and these people don't answer the fucking phone. Um, I'm g being required one by my uh, um employer. Were you exposed by any chance? Do you have symptoms? Um, no, not that I know of. Okay. Um, do you work in in healthcare? No. Okay. So at at our locations that you do have to qualify within our location, or you else there would be an option of one hundred and thirty nine dollars. Uh -huh. um, since you do not qualify, um, you would have to go under that self-pay option of $139. Is that okay with you? Because um, you said, what if I don't work for healthcare or I haven't been exposed? Right. If you have not been exposed, if you don't have any symptoms, um, those would, or you know, if you don't, if you have never previously tested positive before. Yeah, I've never, um, I've, never, qualifications. I've never taken it, but my sister has COVID, so they're asking me to to take the test. Right, so you've been exposed. Um, I guess. I mean, I don't know if I have it, so. Right, but if exposure meaning you know you 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 have you've been exposed to the virus, so uh -huh. she she has it, so you have been around the virus. Okay. Can you provide me your zip code? Okay, just bear with me. I'm trying to um, go ahead and have access to the website, but it looks like it's working a little bit slow today. Okay. So we have been experiencing high demands in COVID at the moment, so there has been a lot of appointments have been booked. Um, so we only ha we only are allowed to um, have access to booking three days at a time. Um, by the looks of it, it looks like we are all booked for the next three days. All I can advise is um, since we're only able to check until Friday, is to call us back tomorrow morning. Um, we do open at 8 o'clock Eastern time. Um, and see if we can, you know, I'll find you an appointment for um, Saturday, one of the first appointments, if that's the, um, an option. If not, um, another recommendation I can provide is calling your local health department, and they can provide you with nearby locations like that can possibly. Um, Anything else I can assist you with, or was that all for you? No, that was it. Thank you. She didn't want to talk to me on the phone unless I said that I was exposed. So I had to tell her that my sister, who lives in a whole different state, has COVID and I was exposed to my sister. Or I was gonna pay $150. And then she gave me all the available slots, which were none. So she said the next opening she possibly could have is in three days. My vacation leaves in like five days. So I can't go to her. Um, I think this place that I'm sitting at right now, they have a three hour wait. I guess I could drive to CVS really quick and see maybe I can do it over there. Whew. So let me go try over there. I woke up early. I look like crap. So I didn't wake up early, I just didn't go to sleep. But I'm at this place that I was yesterday. There's a lady right there. She said it's first come, first serve. So maybe we just pull up into the cones. So hopefully this is where we come. And there's not that long of a wait. When she's done talking to him, maybe we can ask him. Let me ask her.
Come on, man. What are y'all talking about? This conversation. You got, got COVID or I don't got COVID? Nothing else to talk about. Shit, not even nice. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do we just like park here when we're ready to take our COVID test? No, you have to actually park somewhere else. These are going to, uh, once you're registered, and once you're um, by the front desk, and once you and you do that by phone, you call in, and then once you're triaged by the nurse, they'll tell you which spot to park in. So in the meantime, you need to go somewhere else because somebody else is being assigned number four. So where do I go to sign to? If you park anywhere else, and then you have to call into our center. The phone number's on the door. Okay. Okay. And just keep calling her because it says yeah, it's busy right now. I only uh, only our manager is, is answering the phone. The front desk people didn't come in. I think everybody's being burned out. Okay. And, um, you know, so, you know, she, one, we got one person handling four lines, you know, so you just keep calling. Okay. okay. All right. Thank okay. you. Okay. So I got to keep trying to call them. So I saw on Instagram. that Listerine kills COVID and pants, I can't pull my pants on. I finally found a place that's going to allow me to do the test. I've called, I've literally been to like 10 places today. Um, I even called the Department of Tourism at Antigua. And she said that she recommends if I can take a COVID test to reschedule my trip. Ow. So it's kind of frustrating, but I do really want to go there. So I've been calling around. Everywhere requires pretty much an appointment. And there's no appointment slots for the next like four months. I also called my doctor and he said um, he was able to give me a script and he filled out the script and then I called this these people and they said that with his script I'm only allowed to go to two places expeditiously but those two places are booked for months also so even when your doctor writes you a script it doesn't really help so i finally did find one place that whoops that accepts you you have to show up at eight in the morning put your name on the list it is now 3 15 p.m and I just spent like an hour on hold on the phone with them asking them what number on the list was I and they said that there was two people finally ahead of me so 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. it's a long wait but I came home and now I'm gonna go back out there and act like I've been waiting this whole time in the parking lot and then they're supposed to call you and with more instructions and then they tell you which parking spot to pull up into. So that's where I'm heading right now. It's cold out there. It is. <laughs> <laughs> At least having that you're a little bit warmer. Yeah. Alright, so this is not gonna hurt. You know, like how people say that it goes all up here. Yeah, we don't have those today. <laughs> oh, oh, that hurts. That one hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say what? All right, you heard everything I told him about the lab. Yeah. So she's gonna call me so I can pay on the phone or? Yes. 
Or should I just go in there and with my debit card? No, um, she'll call you and mm -hmm. do everything over the phone, okay? Okay. You sure? You sure? Huh? You sure? Because cause she has to travel also, so we both need the uh, results. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. We do every... Like, anybody here for COVID test, we do everything from the car. Like, nobody comes in. Okay. okay. All right, great. Just Thank to make you sure it. she, like, calls us because... Cause they're requiring me to have that paper, like, for me to go um, on to our trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Just like, I don't know what, why y'all so worried. Because yeah, obviously y'all are very sloppy. And yeah. 